Okay, so I want to show you how to do something really cool, and it's something that uh, we just came up with. We were surfing around on the internet and uh, saw some really neat stuff that was done that was laminated like this. And so uh, this right here is uh, done on a CNC carving machine, and it's the CNC Shark. And so I want to show you how you can make that. Okay, so I have a cutting board set up here uh, that is 20 inches long and 12 inches uh, tall. And so the first thing that I need to do is just to get some guidelines. And so I'm going to uh, design an arc that it, we're going to cut through this. And I'm just going to give myself some guidelines here. And over at five inches, I'll come off about maybe to 12. And these are just going to help me uh, make sure that I've got a nice place to lock in the line so that we have a line that is uniform. Okay, so I'll just escape to get rid of that. So this is the line that we will use to go ahead and set up for the cut. And so at this point, what I can do is simply pick this line and I will go in and pick up the tool path that I want to use. And basically this is a function that's used to cut out parts. And so what you can see is if, if we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to use this magenta line as the tool path uh, for the quarter inch bit that we're going to use. And so we're gonna use an end mill that's a quarter of an inch. And you could tell it to be uh, on the inside of the line or the outside of the line. In this case, we want it to follow the line. And so we don't want to have any tabs. We want it to cut all the way through. And so we're going to hit calculate. And as you look at this, you can see that these are the tool paths. And so if I go to preview tool path, you can see how it's going to cut that tool path. And so we'll cut that line through there. And so what we're going to do then is uh, in our laminated strips, as you've seen, is uh, we're going to cut a quarter inch slot in it. And then uh, we'll laminate three pieces that equal one quarter of an inch. So we'll switch next to uh, watching the CNC carving car carver carve this tool path. So I've got a cutting board here that's ready to go. And I'll place it in the clamp and clamp it in position. And I have, I usually adjust this to the zero, zero, zero point before I energize the machine. And so now it's ready.